Hey, it's your girl K. Did come back out to you one more time. So, guys, I'm doing a video as you can see from the title. Some of the products I liked from the subscription boxes. Um, so I'm gonna start off with, as you know, I do like Ipsy. I do um, what do you call it? Ipsy. Is it Epsy? No, it's not Epsy. Epsy. I was doing some Epsy or Epsy, but I'm pretty sure it's Epsy. And um, the recent one I've done was Thero Box, but that's kind of new, so I can't really put out the products like that. And what is it? Boxy Charm. Sorry, my brain is just like, I don't know. Brain is farting all over the place, right? So most of the stuff is from Boxy Charm and Epsy, okay? So I'm not going to bring out all the brushes, but out of all the brushes I've used, this is most, one I got most recent, but I used this for my powder. I forgot the powder is kind of new. So I have this and I use this brush, so I got to wash it. I so far, I use it like once or twice. Well, this week, I should say. <laughs> now, since I got it, I've been using more than that, so yeah. I like it. It's just nice and big and fluffy. Just like, and all the brushes I've gotten, honestly, is very, very, it's nice. They don't, like, nothing so far has fallen out. And I wash my brushes very consistently, so yeah. So I use mostly foundation brushes. And I sometimes use the eye one if I do a little eye thing when I feel like it. So, yeah. Another thing before I forget, I had a, um, I wanted to do this video a while ago, but I wanted to get enough products together before, you know, I, I wanted to test out the products, make sure they're nice, things like that before I do this video. So I don't want to, like, tell you a lie that you, you use a product and it's like, what the hell, sis? How you going to tell me it's a good product to go buy it? And granted, I'm not sponsored from any of these company or just companies. I'm just telling you my personal opinion about the products that I got from these subscription boxes. And they're not paying me. So it's on, only how I feel about these boxes, right? So, one thing I didn't want to forget. I did not want to forget. Because I love this thing. It was a wipes. It was um a makeup cleaning wipes. I don't have it no more. I meant to before. When I got the last one out, I meant to... Put it aside till I do the video. I'll be tight if it's actually in here and I just don't know where I put it, but I'm pretty sure I threw it away. I'm pretty sure. But those wipes, and I'm pretty sure they're expensive as hell. Those wipes, loved it. I love those wipes. When I say I love them, I'm not saying my Dollar Tree wipes, it's my Dollar Tree, my little Dollar Tree wipes. They good, you know? But those things, granted I'm not using them every day now because like, before quarantine, I was wearing foundation every day, so I would have to use the makeup wipe every day, whatever. Now in quarantine, I'm doing makeup probably once, twice a week. Like, so last week, probably a little bit more, depending on if I'm going out to places. But in the beginning of quarantine, I wasn't going out that much because it had to be quarantined. There's one time I stayed home for a whole month. I didn't leave the house because I had enough food, everything. I was like, this one is not catching me. So I was like, I stayed in the house with me and my baby. You feel me? But now it's getting much better in New York, so I'm kind of going out more, doing more things, make sure we get enough exercise because definitely I gained over 30 pounds in this quarantine, so I need to kind of work it off. So, I'm trying to do a weight loss journey, but it's not coming out right now, it's coming out in next year. So hopefully I can stay up on that and really do that, but not even a point. So that's what I've been up to with those kind of things, so yeah. But I threw it away, I loved it. It stays moisturized for a very long time, because I told you I wasn't using it every day, so it's not like it's gonna be done in 30 days, if 30 days, like 30 was in there, or 60 was in there. It took time to clean off, you know, and then Katana I made her use like one or two, we did like makeup in the house when we playing, well, she was playing it mostly. But, you know, so those makeup wipes and the cleanup, good amount of makeup is good, like, really, really good. Stay with the makeup trend, makeup remover. I think it's also a face wash, just in general, but I use it for my makeup because I think it's good for that. So, this I put on my face, I'm going my eyes, like, the hardest, sometimes the eyes move to harder. I feel like foundation is easy to come off, for, for me anyway, with the stuff I put on. And I don't put on, like, 50 pounds of makeup on my face, as you can see from my video. So, yeah, but this is really, really good. Take up for makeup, as I said. If you don't know, watch my last video from my third box. I wash my face in the shower, so to take up the wipes first, and then I do this, and I do another, I do a scrub, and then I do another cleanser. Make sure everything's on my face. In general, I only do this when I do makeup, though. So when I have, as you can see, like let me take the air out of it, so you can tell really how much I've been using. Like a good amount of this use, you know. So I love this thing. Love, love, love. I have not broken out that I know of from this. But I'm using a lot of... I have not broken out from any products, I think, or allergic to any products. So I'm like... It could just be that I'm not allergic to anything. Or... Because I'm going to use a lot of different products together with new. So I'm like, hopefully that don't happen. But yeah. This lip gloss, I like it. I got it recently. But so far, I liked it. I like it. When I... When lip gloss are new, and I'm using it, using the W's, I really love it. Like, I don't like dry, dry lip glosses. I like very... No moisturizing. Mm, I love it. Love the lip gloss. Just saying. My favorite lip gloss is coming up though. This one. This is not even the original one that I got. 
Can you see it properly? Is it gonna focus? All right, so y'all can see it. This is not the even original one. It cost fifteen dollars, right? I didn't want to buy it at first. Between Kiki's, because we didn't have to give her own other other lip gloss. I get, I had to give her because she's doing my lip gloss. I had to go back and buy it from Ipsy, but I didn't even go to Ipsy. The Ipsy, I, at first I saw on their website, I was like, oh my god, probably upcharging it, whatever. Like a month or two later, I was like, all right, I really want this lip gloss. I love it. It's oil. It's not like regular lip gloss. It's oil. It's really nice. It's rich and it's thick. I'm loving it. Your lips look shiny. It look luscious. It look all that. So I love it, right? I went on their website and I was like, okay, whatever. I didn't want to buy a lip gloss that expensive. One of their website, also $15. So I got it with that. I think I got free shipping or something like that. So, but it was worth it. I got three. Love it. <laughs> have them in my bag, have them whatever. But yeah. So also, I forgot about this um subscription because I've done it before. This one is done. And this is also old. This one is finished. I ended up getting a new one during quarantine. But if you don't know, Scentbird. It's like little nice little ones you could put in your purse. But I love these. I try to buy some small ones, but um from I guess it's Sephora. But they, I was gonna say Sephora, but for some reason it seemed like it was wrong in my head. I was like, I'm not gonna say that. But it's really Sephora. So yeah. Um, Sephora, but it couldn't fit in here, so I was like, well, I didn't try, but the girl said it probably couldn't fit in here, so I didn't bother trying it myself. So, probably I should have, but they expensive as hell, but I'm just saying, for a little thing like that, mm, I don't know. So, I think a couple of ones that will come with next is going to be, like, probably face mask. So, this, I use a couple of times. Like, I tell in my last video, I do a face mask probably almost every day to every couple of days, so, yeah. I like this. It didn't make me break out. It's a small amount in there anyway. I put it on my face. Put a thin little amount. This one I'm tired about. I got to use it about five or six or seven times. About that. But my daughter got into it. It's done. So I'm about to throw it away anyway right now. It's done. My daughter got into it. But the time I did use this time I did use it, it was fine. <laughs> I didn't break out. I can't say if it's going to make a difference because I feel like, you know. But it seemed like it's fine. A mask is a mask, but I feel like they really can't go wrong. I've never seen a mask do anything wrong with my skin, so I can't really tell you. But I liked it. I definitely liked it. So that's going in the garbage. So this one. This one. I'm pretty sure I feel like this came from Lit Monthly. So all the another subscription box. I forgot. I'm looking when I look at this one, I'm like, oh, that's the one. I didn't I didn't announce it. <laughs> I didn't say which thing it is. So certain ones I know where it came from because I'm pretty sure it's came from Lip Monthly because certain items come in Lip Monthly, some items don't. But this is lip gloss. I love this thing. Like it's moisturizing. It smells. It's intoxicating. It smells wonderful, wonderful. I love it. I be getting picky in it. Like I'm not. I can't be the only person who put on lip gloss with a mask. I cannot be without my lip. When I did it one time, probably two days, my lips were finished. My, my lips are just now recovering from not wearing a mask about. Wearing lip gloss. I have to wear lip gloss. If not, mm -mm, it's not cute. I like this. It's like a lip gloss lipstick kind of. It's not lip gloss, but it has like a little stain to it. So I think it's lip lipstick. But I like it from Nars. It's pretty. I think it's lipstick. But I like it. I like this too. It's kind of drying, so I have to add something to it. Which most times I usually add um, lip gloss to my lipstick anyway. But yeah, this is a contour. It does other stuff and just other just other than contouring. I didn't show this in one of my boxes by accident. I didn't show this part, but I showed the other part. Come with a little brush, which I think is so darn cute. Love it. But yeah, I like it. Because comes with one, you don't have to think about what brush. If you're not a per makeup person, you don't have to think about what brush to use, whatever, whatever. It comes on automatically. This is Kylie Jenner's, I believe. Um, face wash. It doesn't make me break out. So I saw a thing the other day when somebody was talking about talking about how the fact you got this, your eyebrows come off, but I, I don't think I should. I was like, I heard, I was like, I hope that's not true, but it hasn't. My eyebrows are still on. Um, so, yeah. So, mine is good. Would I, I don't know how much it costs, but would I buy that much money for that face wash? Probably not. When I buy face washes, usually from Target. Um, stuff like that. So, this is good. I bought a face mask, guys. So, this is good. I use this product. Because I have so much face masks, I have to just use them constantly. So, you know, waste. You feel me? I have, um, this, I got this recently. I use this about one or two, like, probably two or three times. It hasn't done anything about having used a straight, like, probably also by the price I have like, certain products I haven't used every day. Like, the Kylie Jenner one I use consistently, by week, like, weekly, well, daily. So, yeah, so I use that, and I use my, um, this has nothing to do with box, but, like, this. So I use, like, a couple of different ones. 
And I use a toner for that too because the toner fat is excellente. And I put this all in my shower so I can pick any one I want to use that particular night. So yeah. This, like a highlighter and thing. So bada bing, bada boom. Bing bing. So yeah, I've used that. If you ever see my makeup video coming up next month with Annette, this is one of the things I use in there. Mm, this sterile box thing, it smells, as long as it stay on, it smells better. Like, you can see how much I used. Granted, this stuff is like probably got a couple months ago. And I, I don't use makeup every day. So, from the time I do, do use the makeup, that's how far it's gone. And I'm pretty sure KK didn't get this one. So, just just me using it. A good amount is being used, though. Compared to the... I feel like one side is being used more than the other. So, it's nice. It's nice little consistency to make your face a little shiny. You, your little... Get a little beat on you feel me get a little beat beat it i would say i wouldn't take out all the um the makeup palettes because i got a lot of makeup palettes from these companies because i don't use them because like i use this well i don't know but i know i for sure i like this one <laughs> and the makeup palettes i usually just use a different one i usually i don't really stick to one of them because i get half so much now so i just want i don't want to waste it so i just try to use it when i can when i gotta use it so yeah but i like some of the makeup palettes more than others but you know some of them like I don't know, probably just me, like, I want to be very, very bright and pigmented, but I don't know how to, I don't think I know how to do that, so. I'm going to learn, I'm going to get, I'm going to get there one day. I'm not going to be a guru or nothing, but I'm going to try my best and do what I can do for myself, but, you know, it's all a learning curve, and I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy that you're watching me. Thank you for watching your girl. Subscribe, comment down below. Tell me if you know any of these products, tell me if you ever used them, but if you know them, you would use them. Well, you don't have to. You could know them and not use them before. But tell me what you think. And tell me if you're going to go out buy out any of these new products based on my suggestion. Or tell me something new I should probably try. You know, I'm really trying not to buy nothing because I get some subscription boxes. You never know if it's going to come aside. So if I do, because I do some subscription boxes, I don't have to buy so much of my regular stuff that I bought before. I just can use those, those things. So I'm like kind of putting those on hold. I have like a, a lot of Amazon stuff like Descriptions, it's called subscription and save, subscribe and save. I do a lot of those about to cancel certain things or move it for a couple of months and like until I actually need the product. So, oh, this toner, but I didn't use it to hold this toner up. Oh, ooh, I don't move my camera. Never mind. <laughs> I don't want to do that. But I got this toner. I only, the thing about it is so weird to push out. It's like a blue toner. I forgot what company it's from. Um, it seems fine, but I only use it a couple of times because you have to be shaking it out to be getting that toner. I'm not, I'm not the patience. I'm not the time. I got the energy. I don't be doing it like that. But. Yeah, guys, thank you for watching. We're blessed and highly favored over here. We're blessed and highly favored. All right, guys. Peace. Later. Mm.